Hey everyone, Cynthia Luhu here, and I got a couple tutorials for you, um, because um, some of you say you just can't get the rows, ribbon rows down, so I'm going to show you a couple easier ways to do it. <clears throat> but first of all, I want to show you my gun. I blinged her out. Yeah, she's a girl. Oh yeah, she's a girl. And these are from my sweet, sweet friend Stephanie. She made these flowers for me, so... They will always be a part of my gun. So I can always think about how sweet she is. And then this is the new stamp I got. The stamp set. Um, up here. I got this at <clears throat> Hobby Lobby for 6 or $7. Let me move that. I just love it. But you know what? Um, right here it says S-W-A-K. Is that like, like smack? Like smooch or something? Swack? I don't know. If you guys know, let me know. So isn't she cute? I knew I had to have fabric because I just that I just had to. And then I made this little pin right here. It's got a little flower on it. And then I added these butterflies. And this is my um, stamp set. And I put some bling on there and some flourishes. And I just added little doodads here and there to make it sparkly and pretty. So anyway. Let's continue with the tutorial. <clears throat> okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to just start with a piece of ribbon, whatever length. I think this is um, probably a foot and a half, which we won't need that much. I'll cut off the excess. Sorry, my voice. I've been sneezing, so it's all grumbly. So just stick your pin in the corner, just like that. <clears throat> or you don't even have to put it in the corner. You can just put it in the side. It doesn't even matter because you'll see what we're going to do. So now I have my pin in my ribbon, and I'm just going to put a little dot of glue so the ribbon stays put. I do not want all that glue on there, that's way too much. Okay, and then, now that you have it like this, now just twist. See how I just twisted it? I just grabbed it and twisted it like that. And while I'm twisting it, I'm going to push it, hold it against the pin, and I'm going to twist it again, and hold it against the pin, just like that. So now I have those two, and I'm going to twist, and this time I'm going to put a dab of glue right here. And I'm going to twist again, and press it against there. Now with this one, you're going to have a pearl in the middle. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry, gosh, I'm just so loud. Okay, and then you're just going to continue twisting all the, every like two twists, add a dab of glue and stick it on. The, this metal part of my glue gun is just covered in glue, that's why mine's looking really messy. There we go. Dab of glue, twist, now I'm going to start holding it from this end because that's just getting too hard for me. So I'm going to twist, add a dab of glue, <clears throat> twist, twist. Oh, I do not like these glue strings, but you know what? They're a part of hot glue no matter what. Okay, twist. Twist. keep that as a pin if you would like or you can take 
your wire cutters and you can snap off that tail. And then you have a little rosette with a pearl. <clears throat> so there's one way. And then here's the next way. And this is the way that I do my roses. I always use my um, pinching tweezers. And you can leave it like this, or you can fold it in half with your, like your big, real big thick ribbons. I like to fold them in half like this and then do it so but I'm gonna do this just like this okay so I'm just gonna use the excess that I have <clears throat> and what I do is I twist and then I add a little dot of glue that's a big dot of glue and then I I twist just like this and then I try to make sure that my ribbons going up at an angle just like that okay So now that's what I have. And now I'm going to take this and I'm going to twist to make my rosebud. Twist. Twist. And now I'm going to put a dab, dab of glue right here. Twist. and then sometimes you can push it back down in case that little center starts to disappear and when it gets to a good size I pull it off the tweezers but you gotta be careful because if if you're not then you're gonna lose that rosebud in the center when you try to pull it off so I'll show you real quick. You want that center to come out. And these are pinching tweezers, so I'm going to hold them open. And I'm going to pull them out. Okay, so I still have my rosebud. But sometimes if you pull it out and that, and that little part comes with it, you can take your tweezers and just shove it back up in there. Just like that. Just shove it up there. Okay? And then just continue using the rest of your ribbon great I have glue that just spewed out oh well I have it on my phone And then I just use the ribbon all the way to the end. I'm going to do this and one more time just in case just in case you didn't get the beginning very good. Just fold that over on itself. Hot. Very hot glue. Okay. And then usually I will just um, cut this and then add my little piece of chipboard. Ooh. Okay. Um, 